Life is an energy structure. It is a whole, we talk about the web of life. Now this is not a, a metaphorical image. Life is a whole web of energy and some of it is awake more than others and in some the energy flows more than others. Now, every human being is connected to this web of life because we're all part of the one organic structure of life. We're all part of life, we're all a little node, if you like, in the energy structure of life. So is every blade of grass, so is everything is all connected. And it is a very, very beautiful pulsating, if you see it from outer space, it's a very beautiful pulsating organic energy flowing around and in and out and, and it, 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 it's all connected and of course a human being because we are made in the image of God we, we have more light and more energy and a spiritually awakened human being is an incredible center of energy and it's directly tuned in plugged in because it's part of this web of life web of web of life and And the beauty, that's the beauty why you don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to do anything, because you are connected. And if you are attuned spiritually to a higher dimension of consciousness, to a higher reality, to a higher frequency of energy, then the energy comes from that higher frequency through your spiritual body into the web of life of which you are a part. And it begins to flow along this web of life. And it can go and it can waken up other certain energy centers in this web of life. It's all connected, it's all moving, it's all interrelated. And it's, I mean, that's why I like the model of the internet, because it's like one of the few models that we have of how this could work. And I, I was walking down here this morning, I was thinking one of the problems in our perception is that, is that we still come from this masculine consciousness which sees things as separate which sees each individual as separate for example you sit in this room and you think of all these separate people now feminine consciousness doesn't see things as separate it sees things as patterns of relationships and these relationships are moving and changing and the energy is flowing and this energy touches this energy and it moves to this energy and if you bring down a higher frequency of energy, you can activate certain energy centers that can only be activated by a higher frequency of energy. For example, there are frequencies of energy that are like keys that can unlock certain doors. For, I, okay, this also has to do with magic. This also has to do with the energy structure of life. In order to have access to a higher, a certain frequency of energy, you have to have a certain purity. Otherwise, the energy can't come through you. Your impurity blocks it off. And there are certain frequencies of energy which can unlock centers of energy within the, within the structure of the Earth. Druids used to use that. They used to know the energy structure of the Earth and how certain incantations, certain prayers unlocked it. That's how they made places of power. That's how they, you know... Um, you know, in places in Ireland or in Scotland, there were these places of power. They knew how to open them. They knew how to close them. And, and you do it with a certain energy. And of course, you put it in a prayer, and that prayer or that spell also becomes another certain energy. And so the beauty of it, again, so in this part, we don't have to do anything. We are surrendered to God. We are used by God, by our higher consciousness. And in the higher consciousness, it's very esoteric, Naqshbandis are the impressors. They're also the designers. So, and the way it works is the whole plan, as it, our, the part that we have to play in the whole plan is impressed into our higher consciousness. Really, from the moment you step upon the path, it is just impressed. It is impressed by the teacher. It is impressed by the system into your higher consciousness. The design the whole design, the whole thing, the system. And in that design is the part that you can play, and the part that you can play on certain levels, because as you go along the path, and as you work upon yourself, you can have access to different levels of energy. You are given permission to work in ways 
but are close to you before, to do with your sincerity, to do with your subservience. We talk about that tomorrow. 